Parshat Mishpatim Revi'i. Again, so many mitzvot are listed, such as not to curse the judges, or to take care of giving the gifts on time, gifts like Bikurim, Trumot, Uma Asrot, and all the tithes. Then the Torah continues, V'an Sheh Kodesh Tiyun Li, that you must be holy people, Uvasar Basadet Terefa Loto Chelu, and the meat of a trefa you're not allowed to eat. The Torah tells us to be holy and to be careful what we eat. What is a trefa? So a trefa is any animal that got injured and Chazal, according to Chazal's requirements, is not likely to live 12 months. And eating such an animal affects our body and our soul. Then the Pasuk continues, La kelev tashlichun oto. You shall give it the trefa, the non-kosher meat, to the dog. Why the dog? To teach us to have hakarat hatov. We have to have gratitude and to pay back those who help us and to show that we really appreciate it. And the worst is when we show the opposite and ingratitude. Many examples. Recently, we just learned by Moshe Rabbeinu. Some of the makot he couldn't do himself. Even though God commanded him to do it, he had to pass it on to his brother Aaron because he couldn't hit the Nile River or the sand which saved his life. Other examples we have by Adam Harishon. Adam Harishon, he could have rectified his sin, but instead he said to God, it's not my fault. You gave me this woman who helped me do the Avera. Now what does this have to do with dogs to pay them back the meat? Because we know by in Egypt, when the Jews left during Makat Bechorot, the 10th plague, that the dogs didn't bark. And another example, the Dad Zikani Bali Tosvas points out that when the do- a dog is normally used to guard the sheep, it's to protect us and to guard people's other livestock. So what happened over here? The dog made a mistake. He fell asleep one night and a wild animal attacked one of the sheep and made it a trefa. So what are you supposed to do with the sheep that's a trefa? You can't eat it. What are you supposed to do? Give it to the dog. Even give it to the dog that fell asleep last night. Why? Because you have to remember what the dog did for every night and every week and every year before this one mistake happened. There's a story of a man when he went to his, uh, an employee went to his boss and said, you know what, I have to quit, I'm sorry, I found a better job. And then the, the boss tells him, what do you mean, I need you, you've been working here for 20 years, my business can't exist without you, you're amazing, you make, you make everything work, you make the employees work, you make the business work, everything is because of you. And then the employee tells him, what, after 20 years, you never said thank you to me once. We have to remember to thank our spouses, our kids, our parents, our friends, anyone, our employees, anyone who we deal with on a daily basis. We can't just take things for granted.